here's a drill that I think will help you not only find the four seam grip, but help encourage you with the proper hand motion before you get up into your throwing stroke and make the play. So what we're going to do is we're going to square ourselves up to our target. You will need some hard surface to, to do this drill. So if you have a grass um, field or if there's dirt around and it's, it's not very firm or flat, you're going to have difficulty doing this. So if you're inside or even in your living room and you're, you don't have to throw the ball, but you can definitely practice this drill. So let me show you here. What we're going to do is we're going to start with our hands together and we're going to spike the ball behind us. So I'm going to spike it and I'm going to step towards the ball. As I'm catching this ball, I want to try to get a four seam grip. So I'm starting with a four seam grip, so it shouldn't be too difficult because it's already in that position. And as I'm catching it, what I want to do is I want to push it down towards the ground and really bury that four seam grip into my hand. Just like that. So I'm keeping my weight on the inside part of this leg. I don't want to sway out and I want to be very deliberate with my catch. I want to time it straight down. Okay, so practice that until you get that, until you get comfortable with that motion. And then the next move, what we're going to do is we're going to turn around and we're going to redirect that ball towards our target. So hands together, step, step, and throw. Avoid trying to put your hands together on this one. So this is a drill where you're working on finding that grip and catching the ball and planting before you redirect and throw towards your target. It's not too often that you're going to make a barehanded play anywhere. In fact, I encourage you to use your glove almost all the time. In fact, if it's a high chopper and you're running in and you try to barehand it, it's probably not the best play. You're going to want to use your glove and make your throw. But what this does is this just gives you a little more ability to handle the baseball without having to use your glove. So when you do have the ability to use your glove, it's just a, it's a, so much easier. So here we are, we're making it a little bit of a challenge, we're speeding things up a little bit. You don't have to be perfect, but you do have to coordinate your motion with your feet and your hands and your step and your throw. So here we go again. And on that one there, I didn't quite grab the four seam grip, but because I was under control and my motion and everything was staying within myself, I had a little bit of time to make that quarter turn and grab the four seam grip to get the throw off. So it's important when you're practicing this drill that you're staying under control. You're not trying to rush it. So whatever speed you start with, you're going to start with that and then gradually make that throw so you're staying under balance, in, in, in balance, I should say. Okay. And now if you want to go really fast, you can do that too. It just helps you with your hand-eye coordination, it helps you get that grip, and it just gives you those fast twitch muscles that you're going to need to play with during the game.